असलम पब्लिक तो क्या हाल चाल हैं आपके उम्मीद करता हूँ कि यार आप लोग ठीक ठाक होंगे तो यार सबसे पहले वेलकम टू माय गेमिंग चैनल जिसका नाम है मारखूर गेमिंग अगर आपने चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो यार चैनल को जल्दी जल्दी सब्सक्राइब कर दें और साथ में बेल आइकन को तब पा दें You've pulled down and everything. You can find Chester Moreau at the grocery store. How'd you find him? I had a hunch, so I sat on an apartment in the French ward that's listed under his youngest kid's name. Fucker's been holed up there. He slipped back into Frisco with some cronies in tow. I think he figures if Olivia doesn't get to him, you will. You all right? Fuck no. Those poor people. I've got an old friend from the State Department who's going to help them. But Moreau. Moreau, that asshole Remy Duval, they've got to answer for what they've done, all of it. They will. You have my word. Jesus. When I found out what they were doing, you have to stop Moreau. Trapped! <laughs> 
what I want is for you to die. Took down Bel Air and Frisco Fields. Just so we're clear, we'll not be using this place to fucking sell people. Find another way to make money from it. That puts us locking things down across the district. You'll get no complaints from me on that. Remy Duvall came from one of the most respected and wealthiest families in Louisiana. He invested in everything from oil wells to real estate, and he used his social status to get a radio program. Now, he used his radio show to preach about the collapse of polite society and the superiority of the Southern way of life. His family had been here for a couple of centuries, so his death was a shock. But even more shocking was the revelation that he was associated with the Southern Union, a group of wealthy racists who used their social positions to agitate against blacks. Remy Duval, he was crucified and then burned alive. How do you justify that type of behavior? Remy came from a long line of Southern cocksuckers, was always quick to trot out that war of Northern aggression and the South will rise again bullshit. Here's the thing about Remy. In 1965, he participated in the murder of four civil rights workers, one of whom they decapitated. They never found her head, so fuck him, he got what he deserved. Sounds like your assessment of Remy Duval was spot on. 
listen to this. Look at what he's doing to us. Our neighborhood, our homes. Half of one refused to sit by and watch as some rubber-lipped nigger runs roughshod over everything we hold dear. And what is it you hope to accomplish? I will strangle that motherfucker! That's what I'll accomplish! I apologize. Shouldn't use that kind of language. He is egging you on, Remy. You are much too important to be caught up in all of this. Is the situation unfortunate? Of course it is. But nothing he is doing changes anything. Let Sal's men handle it. Sal's men? Olivia, the people of this neighborhood expect me to protect them, not some greased-up WAP assholes. No, 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 I need to respond to this. I need to send a message to those niggas and the guineas that here in Frisco Fields, we take care of our own. This is a mistake, Remy. You could jeopardize everything we have been working toward. Our very way of life is at stake, and you think I give a goddamn about some casino? Sometimes I think you've forgotten your station in life, Olivia. A minute or so later, Olivia called Sal. Told him Remy's Southern Union pals were out looking for you. If you head back up there, I'm sure it won't be long before you run into some of them. Get them to tell you which hole Remy's hiding in. Yeah, once I'm done with that prick. Olivia's next. But getting to someone like her ain't gonna be easy. Between Marcano's men and all those rich white assholes she runs around with, they'll spot me coming a mile away. I need you to look at our options. Come up with a plan. Okay, I'm gonna look at our options and come up with a plan. What's wrong with you, man? Personal hygiene is very important. <laughs>
Duval, where is he? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> go on, man. He's putting together a hunting party with the Union boys. <laughs> For your ass! Up near the old lookout point. Tonight. <laughs> Guess they'll have to start without you. In, dicked out in their fancy white robes. My dad. We stand here in the ruins of the last century. Right in this spot where my great 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 grandfather joined his brothers in the defense of Louisiana against northern aggression. Now he died in this spot to protect the virtues and the values of his people. Fuck him, Remy! Fuck him, Remy! Hey. Mm. Fuck the niggas. Fuck those washed, deep, base, big-lipped, bug-eyed savages who grow fatter and lazier of everything the white man has ever made. Fuck the ones who are twice as bad, <laughs> thinking they can walk yeah. upright. Find some. It'd be great if you assholes would shoot at him. Fuck a step, that's a new one. Fuck it, ass cocksucker. Frisco Fields is one of the city's most prominent citizens, Remy Duval, 
was savagely murdered. Witnesses report he was bound to a cross and set on fire. Let's see if we can get a statement from the police. Chief Wilson, you care to make a comment? It's those goddamn niggles. Every last one of them needs to be rounded up and shot. That's quite a statement, Chief. You need to wipe the shit out of your eyes, son. Take a look around. There's a goddamn war going on. Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. Have a listen. Not for nothing, Olivia Marcano's a real piece of work. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, goddammit, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> You sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left.
You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. If they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's their job. Had me out there. Fucking ask me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform. Or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for poor Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You ain't been get them folks their drinks now. Stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. So do they have a suspect? Not a one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. First, I'd like to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community. It might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city, no, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that, Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine, a dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city, by preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. To Remy. He's gonna wish he was dead. Get Rachel, over here with that bottle, man. Voice down. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. Thank you. <laughs> yes, he was a good man. They've convinced themselves that being wealthy means that they have value. Look at me. 
I'm Richard Myers, and probably the least essential person on this block. The key to my happiness is knowing that. Right. I mean, Boy. every last goddamn yeah, dime is gone. Ball. Jesus. What am I gonna tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain I white see. pride, brother. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. The boy's an absolute terror in the kitchen. But he fills out his swim trunks like an absolute champion, so I think I'll keep him. Okay. Hey, I've never actually seen bring the that nephew bottle over here. I had some money. It's not seen. Maybe. Spill it. My condolences. You know? Well. Let's just say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. Yeah, well, she's my wife, and I shouldn't have to beg for it is all. Hmm. Essentially, that inharmonious clause lets the FHA sidestep integration. Technically, the landlord can point at that and tell your colored friends to be on so their lovely. way. Frankly, the case is a loser, a non-starter. So, of course, I'll take it. Whatever you say. Me? Me, no man, dingo, nigga. new guy you can smoke over here you see how Clarence is behaving looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there <laughs> ask me it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella serves him right nigga this nigga that it's every other word that comes out of his mouth bad enough hearing it from all these white folks don't need to get it from one of our own maybe after this he'll rethink how he runs things around here that'll be the damn day Give a shit, cause they're all gonna be white. Fuck them. Amen. True. Damn straight. I'd think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, oh, shit. you, me, him, we're all connected. See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn Donovan. Yeah. What's the blood in the mind? I see him. I see Remy. Something is wrong. wrong. Wait. Get me oh. out of here now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men me. placed on the front door and around back. Oh. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them. They've all come down with some <laughs> kind of. Sorry. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands. See if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. 
I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. Lydia, I'm about ready for some towel. Get, get, get me out of here! You're gonna keep your head down! Get ready for trouble. Second time, boy. You the sign over that land? Hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not, I'm not signing a damn thing. you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. 
They brought me here in my own car. Christ, my hand is in ruin. I barely even knew Remy. Just let me out here. One of these cops can help. You hire something. Suspect. Repeat, visual contact lost. They're gone. Please stop the car. I want to get out. That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just want to go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while. Keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Miss Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Who'd you send? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah, to yeah. Just like you wanted. Any sign of the gummo? He's gone. I, mean, I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. Well, this is a goddamn mess if ever I saw one. Between Duval's will and his fucking Lincoln Clay, it seems this shit's never gonna end. At least we don't have to cut Duval in on the action anymore. <laughs> you trying to be funny? <clears throat> the gummo's lawyer's gonna keep this tied up in court for years. I ain't got that kind of time, you understand? Or money. There's got to be someone we can get to force them to make this right. It takes a lot of pull. Pull we ain't got. Could always call Leo Vellante, ask him. Fuck him! The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission. They're gonna wanna cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. 
I gotta make this call. Leo! <laughs> yeah, Sal, how the fuck are you? Listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that bowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. You take your goddamn time, don't you? I'll put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. We may have different motivations for doing what we're doing, but there's no denying we're damn good at it. Making more money than our people have ever made. Don't slow things down now. You came and wound me up with your big tale about how we're gonna march through the city, murdering every Marcano bastard we cross. But look at me. I got nearly nothing here. Where's the tale you sold me, lad? Was it lies? It's time you fucking deliver. This is all news to me, but... If you still want to send it my way, I'll take it. Ain't a territory. In this one's all you, Bert. Twice now you ruined my pleasant disposition. You're better off not going for a third. All right, lad. It means the world what you're doing here. But truth be told, I'm going to need more than this moving forward. Yeah, I get it. I'm the Yankee motherfucker from Empire Bay. But twice in a row now you cut me out. Just keep in mind, you do that to your own detriment. All right, that's it. We're done for now. <laughs>